you add me to your list to write my name across the ground in blood I'm not gonna fool your innocence well at least he's when not we surprised dug Ridge prison we had the best of intentions we'd find Emily and strike against the Lord Regent but once we started ordering deaths blackmailing those in power and all the other things you're not supposed to do well, look where he's pointing his gun by the way I guess it just became a habit it's a hard thing yeah. holding the keys to the Empire in your hands. It weighs on a man's mind heavily. Curse heaven. I wanted to show you the uh, the kill animation. Someone get over here. But Stand clear. Ah! The slide. Here we go. Very nice. Oh! Cut his head right off. Now the reason I interrupted him is, if he fi if he finishes his speech at the end, he actually shoots himself. Oh. I'm pretty because I, I think like I think the guilt overwhelmed him. You know he's talking about. Well, he's supposed. To yeah, yeah, he's shoot. supposed to be the holy man for one thing. And and like you said, talk about you know started off good then it got easier and easier to do questionable things and now he realized and it, I guess he's you know kind of realized you know what he's become Blast is so fun. <laughs> I haven't seen you use Devouring Storm yet. Storm? Uh, storm. Oh, yeah. You will. And is that just. Like, that's not just a body. Uh, no, it, no, it'll attack the living. Yeah. Certainly attack. Someone will pay for this. Someone get over here. <laughs> Man, the perspective of that made it look like he was like kind of a little person. <laughs> like horn swoggles running up to a. Uh... Oh, there goes his head. Dwarf tossing is a popular sport in Dunwall. <laughs> it probably is now that I think about it. And you know. Yeah. Bear baiting and so. Do you watch Game of Thrones? No, I've read the books. Uh, you, but you know Peter Dinklage, right? The actor who plays Tyrion. Okay, yeah. Uh, guess what his relation uh, to World Wrestling Federation or the WWE is? What? He appears in Hulk Hogan's 1989 film No Holds Barred. Really? Part. Yeah. He's a like a background character. Uh, but like he's, he's very prominent. Like he, it's unmistakably Peter Dinklage. Does he does he kill any pro does he kill There's, any whores in that one? I don't think so. I mean, he is in a bar full of people who are beating each other up, so it's possible. Yeah. <laughs> Look, there's like art, there's like he's just all his pieces are in pieces now. It's someone's down. Someone's down. Firing. Oh, that, that, oh, 
food! <laughs> Look at that! The idea that at this point, Corp, <laughs> you've just been disassembled. Like, I think at this point, Corvo is not actually interested in pursuing a goal. He's just oh, yeah, he's... people. By the time he gets to Emily, he's going to have to, like, stop to remind himself not to take her down, too, probably. <laughs> it's, like I, it's like I said a while back, you know. You can run, Emily. You'll only die tired. <laughs> that, that, that's awful. Let's say halt. Gatehouse. Give me that sign down, down there. Why would? Yeah. I'll, I'll give them this. There's a lot of OSHA compliance on this stuff. <laughs> Caution signs, railways. Yes. Yeah, a... Not everywhere there needs to be railing, but by video game standards, it's pretty nice. Yeah. Probably safe. In Dunwall. That must be part of the bureaucracy that's still intact. Right. Check it out. Notice these guys are wearing different colors than the others. These are these are Pendleton's personal guard. Yes. Oh, I knew you would get here. <laughs> Too late. I'm already dying without your help. Stray bullet. That is a lot of blood he's lost. What could I offer you anyway? You want money? Well, I'm broke. Women, maybe? Everyone knows you were screwing the Empress. You like noble women. You should meet my cousin Celia. <laughs> Good night, sweet prince. Flight of inbred douchebags, sing thee till I rest. <laughs> now you can kill him before he says that, I, right? I think so. I don't know if you have like a special kill animation and he's just lying there. Well, that's two of the three, two of the three head loyalist conspirators down. I wish I had said goodbye to my kids. The Admiral was just bad. There's a lot of chips landing us right in the shit now. And right there. Hamlet up top, Martin at the gates. Nothing in Pendleton's personal troops for guard. Shut your mouths, both of you. We're Pendleton's men. Live or die, we're going to act like it. Wouldn't acting like Pendleton's men involve, like, boozing and whoring and. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yelling at your employees for no reason. <laughs> I'd assume so. But they're the employees, so who would they yell at? Well, Wallace was an employee, and he would he would yell at at uh, Cecilia. <laughs> Her splat. I know that, like. There's nothing he could do, but he saw his friend get a sticky grenade and he just stood there. Well, I don't know. It might be just sort of, stu just sort of, too stunned to like. I don't know. If I was swung and suddenly a, a a grenade was stuck to someone by just a bunch of like spines or whatever, I'd be like, wait, what the hell? I don't know. If, I don't know how quick yeah. my reaction would be. I don't know, but yeah, but we're not like we're not prof we're not professional guards. Private military that's true. people. Yeah. And we don't we don't live in the nightmarish hellhole that is Dunwall. <laughs> You're going to subject his body to one final indignity. Oh, of course. Ah! oh right, face first. 
<laughs> Close casket, Corvo Atano strikes like again. <laughs> I like to think that he was just passed out from blood <laughs> loss. Because <laughs> you'll notice when he when he uh, stops talking, it doesn't say target eliminated. It says target neutralized. Did it? Interesting. Oh, yeah, did, did the axe yeah. go over his face? That's no. interesting. Well, I'm sure that finished him off if the blood loss did. Yeah. Or maybe it just says target neutralized because I because I don't really get credit for it. Seamless, seamless that's editing true. there. Oh, that's right. I I I'd forgotten at this point. I am completely out of crossbow bolts. <laughs> You'd think thirty would you know be enough to tide me over yeah. for one stage, but not when it's this. Huh? I don't know when it's just this much fun. Alright. We're approaching the central like, pillar of the lighthouse now. And I can sneak under here. And... You know, so I see the rewiring option. Like, I just wonder, like, is that really a smart design? Because it looked like you just turned those <laughs> dials. Like, why would you design a weapon that's uh, just like, who to fry? Our men? Intruders. And just make it a switch. <laughs> well, maybe it's more complicated. I'm we sure. Gotta... But it's it's stuff like that that like you know, um, having a starship with a uh, uh, destroy engines sure, much. Yeah. <laughs> Why in God's name is there a button that just destroys the engines? No, I thought we'd need it. It is kind of weird to build a weapon that actually has a friendly fire mode, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, normally, like, it's just weapons can't uh -oh. really differentiate. Like, he oh. gets a nice sunny blue uniform. Yeah. Another one of Pendleton's guys, I guess? Because. Yeah. Oh, I took his torso in half! Nice. Now, now Corvo's going to start his, his lifelong dream of becoming a ventriloquist. <laughs> hey, and you know, he's wearing that... that pretty easy. He's wearing a metal that. mask so no one can see his lips move. <laughs> see, it all comes together. <laughs> Nothing but net. <laughs> Imagine that washes up on shore and someone finds it just... How did a torso and arms get separated from the rest of a person? Not even, it's just like an upper torso and arms, too. It's not even the whole torso. That is a pretty good blade. Yeah. In Japan, people would fight over that blade. Here we are, lighthouse a little bit. You know, old katanas used to be classified by how many bodies they could cut through. I think at I've once. heard that. Is that really true? Yeah. What? Um, they they talked about it on MythBusters. On our way up. And we are fa we are approaching the the final confrontation now. The light at the end of the lighthouse. Long way down. It's a pretty cool glass elevator. I like it. This is 
the only part of the game, as a, to, to the best of my recollection, this is the only part of the game that has like a bot, like a place where you can just like fall and you just die automatically. Well, they, they don't. It's like a separate. It's like a Level yeah, it's a separate area, area yeah. from the rest of it. And it's not like there's any chance of you surviving that fall. So. <laughs> well, I mean, if you do the physic, nice. If you do the physics thing and jump off and blink at the last second. No! 